Hi folks, this is Steve the Cardboard Cultist and today I'm bringing you the second game in our Pandemic Legacy Season 2 campaign. Now this video will contain lots of spoilers as we unlock and explore new content. So if that's not something you're comfortable with, you should click away now. So in our last game we had two mission objectives. We had to recon North America and build three supply centres. We did manage to recon North America, but we were unable to build the supply centres. It's now late January and we're going to have one more shot at it. We're using the same team as in the first game, but let's quickly recap. First up we've got Bob the Farmer, great for getting supplies on the board. Then we've got Dr Fox the Administrator, great for moving pawns around the board. Our radio operator Olivia is going to help us trade supply cubes. And finally we've got Sinbad the Labourer and he's going to help us get those supply centres built. So our strategy for this game was really simple. We wanted to get our three supply centres built as quickly as possible and keep as many of those green plague cubes off the board as we could. If a plague cube is left in a city at the end of a game, then that city's population will drop. So the more games you're having to play to get these objectives complete, the more damage you're doing to your city's populations. We draw our first epidemic card, but thankfully it doesn't hit us too hard and we're easily able to recover. At this point in the game, we're really close to getting our first supply centre built and it's just about moving pieces around and getting the cards to where we need them. We quickly make this happen down in Sao Paulo and we've got our first supply centre built. But right on cue, we get hit with another epidemic card. And we're fighting this constant battle between getting our mission objectives complete and keeping supplies on the board. Supply cubes on the board are starting to look a little thin as that stockpile is filling up with cubes. Lagos is currently looking vulnerable and there's no one nearby to protect it. Unfortunately, it's hit with an incident as we add our first play cube to the board. Another play cube up in Chicago isn't far behind as we're just not able to get supply cubes around the board quick enough. Thankfully we get our second supply centre built over in Tripoli and now we just need to build one more supply centre. And even though we managed to get to this situation in the last game, this time we've got a lot more time on our hands and we're very confident of getting this complete. While we wait for the right cards to build our third supply centre, we're using the time to search Chicago and discussing the possibility of building supply lines. Even though right now we're in a strong position, we still want to get as much done as possible, as we know how quickly this game can turn around. While focusing our efforts over in North America, we've left Istanbul vulnerable. And as you probably expected, it doesn't take long for a play cube to end up there. And if that wasn't enough, we've got to deal with another epidemic card. And now that whole area over on the right hand side of the board is just getting decimated. We had invested some production units over on that side of the board to just try and stabilise that area, but it's simply not working. In the meantime, however, we're just going to stick with our plan of trying to get those supply lines built. Of course, we'd all be much happier if we could just get this last supply centre built. And finally, after lots of trading cards and discussions about action efficiency, we managed to get our third supply centre built up in New York. So this has been a successful outing, but at what cost? Lagos, Tripoli and Istanbul have all been hit hard. Meanwhile, we haven't developed the supply lines we were hoping for. How much this is going to hurt us going forward, only time will tell. Ultimately, we've got to be thankful to get the win, and now we can look forward to February with renewed confidence. We decided to spend our production units on Cairo and Tripoli, and this is just going to mitigate some of the damage done, and hopefully going forward, they won't be quite so vulnerable as they would have been. But as January draws to a close, I've just got time to say, as always, take care and thanks for watching.